Hi, my name is Justin Lee from Armory, and I wanted to show you a quick demo of a Spinnaker pipeline. This is the uh, Spinnaker UI, and we've currently configured this Spinnaker instance to talk to two Kubernetes clusters, one dev cluster and one prod cluster. Uh, here on the infrastructure clusters page, we can see our actual uh, deployments that are relevant to this particular application. So we have in our dev environment, we have two containers or two pods, and in our prod environment, we have four pods, uh, all running the Justin R. Lee Nginx world container, which is just an Nginx container. Here on the load balancers page, uh, you can actually see our Kubernetes ingresses. So with Spinnaker, we expose uh, visibility into your load balancers, into your uh, into your deployments, into your replicates, sets, all those things. If we go to um, the delivery pipelines page, the core unit of um, Spinnaker is a pipeline or a pipeline execution. So like a pipeline is, is if, you're, if you're familiar with a CI tool, a pipeline is just a series of stages that operate in series or in parallel. Um, in Spinnaker, the pipelines are heavily focused on continuous delivery or continuous deployment because Spinnaker is a continuous delivery and continuous deployment platform. This is uh, the pipeline that I'm going to show you. Uh, here on the configuration page for the pipeline, we have a number of parameters that can be configured. So we have a dev count and a prod count, and then we also indicate what tag we, we'd like to use. You can also configure a pipeline to be triggered by, for example, an incoming webhook or by monitoring some uh, GitHub repository or something like that. Or um, this is our the, the first stage of our pipeline. This is a Kubernetes deployment pipe, uh, stage. And in this, we have defined a Kubernetes manifest where we're actually substituting parameters from our in inbound parameters. Uh, in addition to specifying the Kubernetes manifest through Spinnaker, you can also reference a Kubernetes manifest from an external S3 repository or an external GitHub repository or some other external artifact repository. Uh, what, we'll see, what we see a lot with customers is that when they're setting up pipelines, they want to set up a pipeline where some manager or some QA team has to come in and validate that an environment is properly up to date. So between stages, so we have a manual judgment stage. So after, um, after the, deploy, the dev stage has been deployed, somebody has to come in here, verify that dev is good to go, and then click OK, and, and then the pipeline will continue. And then we have another Kubernetes uh, manifest deployment stage. This one deploys to a, a, the, our uh, Kubernetes production environment. So if I go back to my pipeline, I'm going to go ahead and execute this. Or actually, before that, I'm going to show you that right here I have my dev environment in the, in the top right and my prod environment in the top and the bottom right. They both have, again, the Hello World app. And I'm going to go ahead and start this pipeline. And I'm going to switch to the Docker tab, uh, the Docker, Docker tag called KubeCon. So what this does is as this runs, we can actually see the rendered um, YAML in here. So this is the rendered deployment YAML from that comes from my Kubernetes manifest. And this is my, my rendered service YAML that comes from my deployment manifest. Um, also, if I go to here, we can see that uh, if I refresh the page on my clusters page, we now have, we're now using the KubeCon image. Now, if I up, uh, refresh my dev environment, wait for it to load, we have hello KubeCon. So my dev environment is good to go. And it is now time for uh, potentially another user could, could come in here and uh, click continue to just start the deployment to prod. And so now if I go back to here or back to my clusters page, we should be able to see that it's going to start creating another deployment or, or another Kubernetes deployment that has the Justin Early Nginx KubeCon image instead of the uh, world image. Then refresh, and it's rolling through and creating new ones and, and destroying old ones. So it's a rolling blue-green deployment. And it's slowly going, and if I refresh again, give, us, give it a minute or a second or two. Still deploying, you can kind of monitor the status of the deployment. And so the pipeline will complete once it's once it's actually validated that all of our pods have been deployed. So if we refresh this, we'll see that all of our pods are now using the KubeCon tag. And if I refresh my um, lower right production environment, we now see that it has the Hello KubeCon uh, app. Anyways, this has been um, a very quick demo of a Spinnaker pipeline. Uh, please feel free to reach out to us at hello at armory.io. Thank you very much.